Adventures in Time and Space, told in future tense. Eight six seven five three two nine. Our current location puts us somewhere in the new Tele Galaxy, out here in outer space. I just got back from Planet Pinkerton, home of the Pinky People. What I was doing was taking a small little guitar lesson break out there. This is because Penelope, the alien space contortionist, loves Pinky Picking. Uh, is it one of my favorite guitar solos? Mm, really not. Why is this? Because the Pinkerton people, they only have pinkies, and you really can't get too prolific at playing guitar when you have two pinkies. However, when it comes to picking noses and picking ears, the pinky people are very good. Forget about it when it comes to that. They'll have you hearing and breathing clearer than anything you've ever experienced in your life. But anyways, right now I'd like to play a little song that I wrote for Penelope. Penelope, you're the spaciest girl I know. The most bendiest girl for show. Both of your arms I do adore. But it's your third and fourth arms I like more. You stretch like a rubber band around my heart. It smells like perfume when you fart. She's an alien, remember? So her farts smell delightful. And I love you. Anyways, I got a lot more of that from where that came from, but it's proving pretty useless to even continue with this. Seeing as Penelope just wants to be friends right now. Friends is not a good word, and I don't care what galaxy it's in. Apparently she met some guy named Gort. What kind of name is Gort? Oh, you just don't know him. Like I know him, he's very special man. He shoots laser and blows up tanks and aeroplanes. Big deal. Like what? Who needs that? Who needs to be shooting lasers out of the rest? It's not useful, it's not practical. You know what I have that Gort doesn't have? I have this baby right here. State of the art, tripod laser cannon 3000. BAM! What? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, not only does this thing blow stuff up, preferably in an awesome way, but afterwards, you can use it in conjunction with your camera to take some of the most delightful pictures you've ever seen. Just sit it in, and I'm like, you know what? Let me put my camera on this and take a few shots, just for fun. I'm telling you. I came out with some of the most breathtaking photos. Even two of them, turn them sideways, you know what they look like? Gigantic celestial bunny rabbits. Now let's see Gort do something like that. Can you imagine? The guy, the guy would look ridiculous with a camera stuck to the top of his head. Gort! You know what? I need a drink. Beautiful. Look at that. So anyways, oh, we're gonna move on past, past Gort. I'm just, in eh, healthy, I'm just, Woo! That's a kick in the butt. Now, you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, this cockpit looks mighty familiar. And it should. Check out this picture. I took it a long, long time ago in a galaxy not so far away from me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you didn't see that. All right, take a look at that right there. That's me with some of my good friends on the Millennium Falcon. Me and my hermanos, me amigos. We're pretty close, though. So. Now, granted, this isn't the infamous Millennium Falcon that we're in right now, but it is a Millennium model. So what happened was that I was going through the galaxy in my old rig, and I seen that they were having a Millennium Center sale. I got this baby for like a fraction of the price that it was going for in the past, and I just had to take it, you know, just to make Han met. See, what I didn't know when I bought it was that the Millennium is the model, and the register name is the Falcons. They do weird things in the galaxy here. And all the cool register names have already been taken. The Millennium Conqueror, the Millennium uh, Condor, the Millennium Blackhawk, the Millennium Eagle. Now, all I'm left with is uh, a couple uh, random names, such as the Millennium Chickenhawk. I mean, Millennium Chickenhawk. It doesn't have any flair to it. Even worse than that, the Millennium Blue Footed Booby. <sighs> Uh, Millennium Chicken Hawk, I'm thinking, you know, has the word hawk in it. That's pretty cool. And then on the bright side, maybe the Millennium Blue-Footed Booby, you know, has the obvious word in there that we're all thinking. Blue. I really don't know where to go. If you guys want to actually help me out and send me some requests in. So anyways, this is about it for right now. Uh, maybe you guys can tune in later. My transmission is ending up. I'm going to be doing some rotations around another planet. Look me up, guys. You know where I'm at. Actually, you don't. 
But if you guys tune in for later, I would love it. I think it would be awesome, and we'll catch you later on the flip side. Thank you.